Hi, welcome to the Jim Sapphire channel. If you're new, welcome. Also, check out my Instagram account, Jim Sapphire, because that's where I, I post up any videos that I've just loaded and any makeup adventures I might have. So today's video is September's ins and outs, things that I enjoy and things I would not recommend. So starting off with skincare, this is from Drunk Elephant. Their night serum, glycolic night serum. So I would say I would say this is an in. I've start, I've been using this for over a month now. After a few weeks, I already noticed that my pores were a little bit smaller, and that any stubborn acne, um, you know, went away a lot sooner. Versus before, it would maybe my acne would stay around for like five days. Now this it stays around for like maybe two or three days. I would I would warn though when you start using it, there is a little bit of a tingling. So uh, hence they they recommend you know applying this also um, maracuja oil. So I use Tarte's maracuja oil together, and I use this I would say every other night instead, or every every two nights. Another end for me also is this. Uh, this cushion from Lancome, the Miracle Cushion in 310 Bisque. Just want to show you the color the inside. I'm wearing it right now. I would say out of all the cushions I've uh, tried, this is the most hydrating and the most dewy. And I feel like even on my skin right now, it looks very dewy. So yeah, this is a definite end. I would buy more of this. And, and don't feel like you have to go to Sephora or to the Lancome counter and purchase this. I actually went to one of the, you know, discounted cosmetic stores in, in the outlet. I, this one I bought in the outlet, um, I think it was Diamond, no, Diamond Outlet in Vegas. And it just happened that day, they, they had like, everything was 40% off, so I got this discounted. In terms of lip products, um, an in is this, this, I guess, oh, this lip paint by Tarte, Tartis. Bunnies, Graveyard Girl, and, and Swamp Family, the color Swamp Family. It's a very nice red, very flattering. And also, I really like the formulation. I've tried other lip paints from Tarte, and usually they, they start off creamy and then they just are very dry on the lips, but this one actually uh, did not dry out my lips. And then from Urban Decay, from their vintage lipstick collection, I got the color Aphyxia. I bought this uh, during my field trip to Nordstrom Mac, so it's at a discount. This, I would say, is more of a, a, I mean, you can put it on top of your lips, but it's kind of opaque, so I would say it's prettier if you put it on top of a matte lipstick instead. instead. Oh, in terms of an out, a definite out, is this, this lip kit by Makeup Revolution. I mean, obviously it's a dupe for Kylie's lip kit, this is in the color rain. I my first critique is I wish they had a cutout just so you could see the true color, because on the on the package it looks like it's nude or mauve, but the actual pencil and and liquid lipstick it's peach. Like it, it looks peach on my lips. And I mean along with um oh second critique is the formulation. I mean the. The lip pencil, great, very creamy. The problems start when you start actually putting on the liquid lipstick. I mean, it just applies sticky, and even when it, even when it dries out, it stays sticky. And then throughout the day, if you even, you know, um, do the, you know do pat, pat your lips, you start having patches where there's liquid lipstick and patches where there's no liquid lipstick. So this is a definite out. I am I'm going to take this back to the store. And in is by Estee Edit. This is the I guess the more affordable line by Estee Lauder. I think I think they're rolling this out. Just I don't know why. Maybe it just didn't do well in the stores. But if you can get your hands on any of the Estee Edit products, I would recommend their um, this, the what's it the eyeliners because they are very creamy. Like I got the two of them. One in navy and light baby blue, and this one in teal and tarnished gold. I actually put these on my hand, my arm. See, here's the teal, tarnished gold, the navy, and the baby blue. 
The other item I purchased from Estee Edit is their, their kit. For the original price was $44 for the eye palette and the glow face kit. But I went again to one of the outlets. Um, this one was at uh, Camarillo Outlet. And it happened to be that day everything was 50% off. So I got both of these for $23. What a steal. I would say the star though out of the two is the eyeshadow palette. Um, I would say very easy to do a smoky eye look. Uh, the only thing I would I would um, recommend is if you're gonna do the green or the blue, just pick one because I was trying to you know put both colors in my eyes and ended up being uh, muddled very quickly. I think just because there's specks of black in both, that's why. I I was reading, I was watching a couple of reviews on YouTube, and some of the reviewers were saying that. This very much resembles um, Victoria Beckham's eyeshadows, which are way pricier. So, I mean, if you can get your hands on this, definitely, I would say get this. The other part of the 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 set is this um, glow face palette. You know, highlighter, um, highlighter, bronzer. Between the two, I mean, definitely the star, like I said, was the eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's not, this formulation is okay, and I have other highlighters and foundation, I mean, highlighters and bronzers that I'm, I'm more happy with. So, yeah, if I had had to pay full price, I think I would have been um, less happy. But, you know, I got it for a steal, so, yay. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed my recommendations for September, and I hope to see you next month.